Alright, the uh, Sebastian is disturbed. I think. I think I paid, but I don't know. Slytherin Basilisk. Not sure how I'd fare something, something. Lord Voldemort. Something, something. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that car. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them, possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins for... Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what... Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Come on, I'll take you to my... This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Go in. <laughs> I'll come up through. Aha! Sebastian, where did you? What I think it is. We've been over this boy. Hey. Shriveled things cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. Nothing. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure. When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry. Uncle Solomon is frustrated. By what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This ca Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with you. Thank you. I search for a cure. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. I wish you well. Are you okay? Uh, 
No, it's not jumping chest. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Salad. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said... Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet... Ah, you, you sound like Sebastian. Think... Perhaps the healers don't know it. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblin giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable. I understand what you're saying. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brothers. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I'll admit I wasn't expecting... He's always angry. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son. As I'm the one trying to help her. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing... I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. Come with me. I need to... Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expecting to dig for this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Deadness in my book. Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take more. How much of them are there? What the fuck is going on? Still coming. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. Oh I tried God. to warn you. Seriously, Merlin Trail. Really? Again? Still? Those loyalists deserve couldn't agree more this is where it happened we smelled smoke in the middle of the night when we looked up before my uncle and i could stop her and rushed out racing towards the she came face to face with a horde of goblins F suddenly an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke 
children should be seen and not heard. They didn't even give her a ch- Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. My thoughts exact. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a- And at Rookwood Co Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Rebellion. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Whose home was this? It's been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts home. Rebellion. That's all I ever heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Rebellion. I've seen the future. Uh, I don't know what she said. Over here, do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be, but it looks to me as though this was intentional. Sebastian! Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section. With a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. And the keepers seconds. have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pencil in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I am. They call like like themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via... You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now... Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers. Hundreds of... If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, you for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers... Look at this. Confringo! Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Incendium. 
She was trying I'm not going to believe this. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream? Rebellion. Because that happens to me too. Probably try to bring back the dead, right? And she felt it sounds strange. Honestly, nothing you say sounds strange <laughs> anymore. Everything makes sense, yeah. But... I can see the undercroft through this stone wall. As though it's... I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traits. But you said you didn't really un... That's true. Mm. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know <laughs> is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, <laughs> but perhaps best not to tell anyone else. Understood. Well then. Invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we go. I'm yes. tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. I'm gonna start tracing Why those dials. Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago and ran. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I did. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. I... True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me. I'll be in touch. Till then. Balbatan Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. No more letters. No requirement. Okay. <laughs> 